beginning and you will see that it was a raw plant-based diet and that's why your body and your physiology was created to break down and eat these raw things but the moment that that stuff changes when sickness and disease start coming upon our people and to our culture we have we have lost the identity of food and food if 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 we can get people to eat right like i said it's attached to everything else once all you got to do everybody say follow the money right no, follow the food. If you follow the food, you will find your true identity. You will find your true belief. You will find your economical power. You will you'll find your social power, your political power if you follow the food. But we're not following the food because we're following a white man's construct, a European system. And they food have nothing to do with our bodies and our, and our human anatomy. So we eat these foods and this food is full of the wrong information. So we thinking with the wrong information that's been broken down and, and assimilating with our body. And we wonder why. And then every, and then it's crazy that, that, that how they push their agenda and they push this uh, school pyramid upon us. And then if you look on a food pyramid, they got, they got carbo, uh, they got, they got the carbohydrates, which is the carbonic acid, which is your bread. They got the uh, uric acid, which is your proteins and your meat. They got the lactic acid, which is your milk and cheese. I mean, everything about their pyramid that they push inside of these fake school systems, teaching their religion, teaching their culture, teaching their customs, teaching everything to our children or the opposite of things that we need to uplift us and make us whole again. Because there's so many levels that we oppressed on. And it's not just food. This is mental oppression on many different levels. Food would just be that gateway. Food would just be that start. Food is that start because, again, food starts with everything. You cannot talk about no subject without food being involved in it. And that's the reason why food is killing us more than anything, because food is the quickest way to have your butt on your deathbed. Y'all see that? Food. So that's the reason why I'm constantly talking about food, constantly talking about food, constantly talking about food. Because if we can get you to change your diet, you will think right. You will start following the food and realize way before religion set in what you were supposed to be believing in, your true God. You see that? It'll show you how money and bar uh, the bartering system was built upon these foods. Food is the source that will bring you back. And again, food is full of information. So, so we're eating these foods. Not only is this killing us, but now we done took it even farther. We are cooking these same foods. And the blowback is happening from it. So, yeah, I mean, you, you just like your body and your kidneys cannot process proteins, it's impossible for the hydrochloric acid or your bloodstream and even your lymphatic system to break down this oil that you are cooking at high temperatures 